what's up guys it's etg back with another video for y'all in this video i'm gonna put a gen 5 ssd inside a ps5 to see if it will work the gen 5 ssd i've got in store is the gigabyte eros gen 5 1200 and a promise of read speed of like 1100 so i want to see if it really works inside of a playstation 5. now inside this package got a beautiful eagle right here from the for gigabyte Aorus. And inside, you see it right here, the Gen 5 SSD. Beautiful stuff. With this package, it comes with a heat sink that's only to use inside of a desktop. This is it right here, a big old heat sink right here. You only, it's made for a desktop, so I don't need it anyway, so I ain't worried about it. All I care about is this Gen 5 SSD. It comes with a crazy speed. The question is, does it work in a PlayStation 5? That's what we're gonna find out. I'm going to pair it with one of the best heat sink I've ever used so far. This heat sink right here is a Gregor heat sink. This is, I've been using it for a while, so I have to buy another one. This is brand new because I sold my PlayStation and I have to get back another one. This is the best heat sink you can get. You got a nice heat pipes right here, keep it very cool. Not only that, it comes with the, the cover. The cover got vents as you can see. So this right here prevents dust from going inside. And it allows air to flow so keep the SSD cool. It's one of the best heat sink you could buy for your PlayStation 5. I'll definitely leave the link in the, in the description, so go ahead and copy it. So let's go ahead and do this bad boy real quick. I'm gonna get the Gen 5 SSD right here. It's, yep. And I'm gonna go ahead. See, just like any other, just like with any other um SSD. But you got some amazing speed right here. This one is one terabyte. So let me go ahead and slap this inside the PlayStation 5. But first thing first, I gotta put a heat sink on it. I just want to show you what it looks like. The Gregor heat sink, nice heat pipe, looks nice. The SSD right here. So we're gonna slide this bad boy inside the PlayStation 5. Nice and neat. Now we're gonna go screw this bad boy down. I'm gonna power it up and see what it looks like. Alright. And the heating come with this thing right here and a very long screw because of the height it makes sense so you can't use your regular screw and the little thing right here that comes with the playstation 5. gotta use the one that comes with the heatsink this right here and it comes with a very long screw very long screw to put right in the groove so we're going to do that put a plate on and fire up this thing Now for the moment of truth, let's see if this PlayStation 5 recognizes a Gen 5 SSD, see if it works. Let's go ahead and pour the PlayStation on. So, they say it got the formatted, so let's see if it'll format and do its thing. So let's hit format. So, this is funny. So, the PlayStation 5 accepts the Gen 5 SSD, but the read speed it only gives is 4,019 MBS, which is kind of weird. So I guess it does not give it the speed that's recommend that it's said it have. So, so if you're curious about a Gen 5 SSD working in a PlayStation 5, this is the result right here. It says if you experience experience problems while playing a game, install SSD, try installing it into console storage. So it is what it is. So you're not getting the 11,000 MBS. Right now it's giving me 4,019. So let's see what happened after this. So, playing games, nothing changed. Everything's, everything's running just fine. The only thing is, it's just not getting the speed that, that, I, that I advertise. But then again, it is what it is still. But the game still runs perfectly fine with its SSD card. So, that's about it. So, if you want to know if Gen 5 will work inside the PlayStation 5, yes. Will it get the 1100 MBS speed or the advertise? No. But anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.